Roborock recently released a new robot, the S4 Max, that I reviewed previously, so in this video I'll be comparing it with the S5 Max, arguably Roborock's most popular option to date. The S5 Max is the first robot I've tested with a true electronic water tank, making it one of the better vacuum slash mop hybrids available, doing both tasks equally well. In comparison, the S4 Max is one of the least expensive smart robot vacuums with a mix of features you don't see in other brands at this price range. This comparison is a culmination of countless hours of testing and retesting to see which option offers better value for your needs at home. These two robots are similar if you look at the spec sheet, but the test results reveal otherwise, so stick around to see those numbers. First, we'll look at the design. Both the S4 Max and S5 Max utilize the same interface with two buttons above the LiDAR cover. However, you won't be using these buttons as much since both have smartphone apps that unlock all the features. The S4 Max has the matte black exterior while the S5 Max has the glossier finish. I prefer the matte finish since it isn't a fingerprint magnet. Underneath you'll see a similar layout with one all rubber side brush and a combo brush. The only difference is the S5 Max having the water tank right here while the S4 Max has the exhaust vents. Despite not having the water tank, the S4 Max retains the same dustbin as the S5 Max with the same capacity at 0.46 liters. You can actually interchange these two dustbins and both utilize a washable post-motor HEPA filter. Emptying these dustbins will be similar with a front-mounted door. However, you'll need a wide trash container to minimize spills. Aside from the dustbin, the side brush and the main comber brush are also interchangeable. Of the two, only the S5 Max has the mopping feature and does it well enough, at least for dried stains. It was able to clean dried red wine stains I left overnight while leaving minimal tire marks and residue. The water tank is excellent at dispensing water, just enough to keep the pad damp so the floor is completely dry minutes after mopping. Dimensions for both are the same at 13.8 inches wide and 3.8 inches tall. However, it didn't clear the shoe rack with a 3.8 inch clearance. Both robot vacuums have LiDAR and SLAM, enabling each one to navigate efficiently. Roborock's S-Series product line is one of the best at navigation, and its algorithm is smart enough to go around tight spaces without getting lost or stuck. But you'll have to do your part and clear any dangling wires or small toys as none of these robots will avoid it. The S4 Max and S5 Max possess these qualities and are efficient at such. Each model offers the same containment features like no-go zone and invisible wall helping users block zones virtually through the app. You can set as many as these on each map level as needed, giving maximum flexibility with blocking off-limit areas. One difference is the S5 Max not having the no-map zones because it doesn't have the mopping feature, but the no-go zone provides similar functionality, so this shouldn't be a sticking point. Both will start going around the edges before moving towards the middle in straight lines. You'll have the option to choose between 1 to 3 passes, depending on how thorough you want it to be. None of the brands I've tested so far offer this much thoroughness, except for the NATO and Roomba. The latter has sturdy tech, which trumps them all. I tested coverage by scattering Quaker roads around the room, and these robots were able to clean most of it after the first pass, and cleared everything after the second pass. So a third pass wasn't needed. Both robots have aggressive algorithms for climbing thresholds. I tested both on a 0.8-inch area rug and a 0.72-inch MDF board, and there were no issues with going over these obstacles. On paper, these robot vacuums have equal suction with 2,000 pascals, but the airflow test reveals the S4 Max having more with over 22 CFM, compared to the S5 Max's 17.74 CFM at the highest setting. You can see this difference in the Xenon hard floor test, where the S4 Max made a cleaner initial pass versus the S5 Max that left a small trail after the first pass, at least for this test. The S4 Max's higher airflow across all power settings enables it to pick up debris well even at the lowest setting, especially on hard floors. The S5 Max also has this capability, and I feel it has better agitation than the S4 Max, as it picked up more sand in a deep cleaning test. For this experiment, I rubbed 100 grams of fine-grade sand on mid-pile carpet, then ran a three-pass cycle around a test area. The S5 Max was better with an 84.75% score versus the 80.1% pickup of the S4 Max. I tried using the S5 Max's brush on the S4 Max to see if it could pick up more, but it had worse results, picking up 76.13%. With edge cleaning, the S4 Max did slightly better, 
leaving fewer bits of coffee grounds in this area. Again, the higher airflow may be a factor with the difference. For the hair wrap test, I spread out 1 gram of 5 and 7 inch human hair, then weighed the contents inside the dustbin and around the brush. The S5 Max was better in the 5 inch test, picking up 0.95 grams or 95% versus the S4 Max's 0.8 grams or 80%. However, with the 7 inch test, the S4 Max was better, picking up 80% compared to the 48% of the S5 Max. Overall scores for these robot vacuums are close with a slight edge to the S5 Max but the difference isn't much. The eye test confirms these scores as both the S4 Max and S5 Max clean debris of various sizes from fine sand to large chunks like Cheerios without any issues. Passes were crisp and there weren't any issues with the side brush gathering debris as it spins at a slow enough rate. Both robots have a 5200 mAh lithium-ion battery and will run for up to 180 minutes in quiet mode. That number obviously goes down if you use any of the higher power settings. Fortunately, these robots have enough airflow and agitation in quiet mode for light debris like dust and hair, so there's usable power even at the lower settings. Runtime shouldn't be an issue for these smart robot vacuums since each model has recharge and resume. So if it doesn't finish cleaning, it returns to the same spot it left previously after recharging. Also, Roborock has a feature they call Smart Top-Up, where it recharges just enough to complete the task. The S4 Max is only compatible with the Roborock app, while the S5 Max is compatible with both the Xiaomi and Roborock app. Whether you choose Xiaomi or Roborock is a matter of preference since both have the same interface and features. You can save up to 4 map levels with both models with a quick start type interface to make the process straightforward. These robots are smart enough to detect the correct map level after the initial scan in case you forget to switch the map while moving to another level. Users can set multiple invisible walls and no-go zones at each map level to block the robot from off-limit areas. I believe this is an essential feature for smart robot vacuums as most homes will have these areas. Unlimited scheduling is another feature I like with the option to select weekdays, weekends, or specific days. Along with that, you can select a power setting. Both have a carpet boost feature where the robot will automatically increase suction when it detects carpet. So it provides a good compromise between runtime and power. There are only two differences. First is the water level tab in the S5 Max interface that allow users to select their preferred water level settings. Second is the no map zone which has the same functionality as the no go zone. The S5 Max is the quieter robot maxing out at 62.4 decibels compared to the S4 Max's 64.1 decibels at the highest setting. Both are quiet at the lowest setting with 58.2 and 60.6 .6 decibels respectively. To conclude this comparison, there isn't much of a difference between the S4 Max and S5 Max with navigation, app features, and cleaning performance. The S4 Max's higher airflow provides it more usable power at the lower settings, so you don't have to deal with the noise. But the S5 Max is equally adept at picking up debris even at the lower settings, and it's better at cleaning embedded dirt. The deciding factor between these two robots is the mopping, which is only available with the S5 Max. If you need the mopping feature, the S5 Max is the better option. Otherwise, go with the S4 Max, especially for homes with lots of hard surfaces. If this video has been helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and tap on the bell icon to get notified when I publish new comparisons like this. Links are in the description for more information. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.